thank you for the invitation. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't come to the opening. Uh, so yesterday, Dashi and we look around a little bit, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with what uh, you, you achieved, and uh, uh, because uh, it's not easy to to run an art project in art space because I I also had experience probably way before you uh, so I think uh, what you did is fantastic and uh, of course then thank you for for you all coming uh, on Sunday precious Sunday because I think you're supposed to sit on the cafe in the sun <laughs> drinking coffee. So, I, I, I did prepare some, uh, some of my work and uh, so I'm basically just going to show you uh, lots of uh, images because uh, I'm not very good at, good at explaining my work. So I hope maybe the image will be speak itself. Uh, basically, I, 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 I would sort of try to uh, 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 talk about uh, the background of the work, and uh, then uh, if if there is any question, usually you can just stop me and ask. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I actually I, I much prefer having an, uh, a question rather than. Giving a, giving a talk. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's let's start. Uh, this is the piece I did in 2003, uh, and it's called uh, My Identity. Uh, and it's uh, actually the four 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 picture. Actually, I've seen the numbers wrong. But the first one should be my This is the much. Uh, so, I mean, the reason I I did this work is uh, I, probably I think through that work also you could see what uh, what I I so went through for last I think nearly fifteen years, and uh, originally I was born in Lhasa, and. Uh, both my parents are working for, for, for the Chinese government. Actually, my father is in the military. And uh, my, my mother, she's been educated uh, in China in the early 50s. And uh, later, she's been working for the government as a, as a, a clerk. Uh, so that's the sort of environment I grew up. And mm, then, of course, I... I went to a school which is uh, every young Tibetan uh, supposed to go those days, and uh, uh, so we had uh, sort of very strict uh, Chinese uh, sort of education, and uh, I, then I I was. Uh, very enthusiastic about uh, what I was learning those days, and uh, also I was totally believed uh, what uh, what I was taught taught in school, and uh, so I did my most of the education in Lhasa. Then, the early eighties, I, I I I went to Beijing to study my study uh, fine art. And uh, so I spent four years there uh, in Beijing. Can you help me well? <coughs> so the I think, yes. Uh, so all those. 
So all those experiences, I think, bring the question which is uh, about uh, my own identity. Because, uh, I mean, those years, the education we have, we have in, in school is uh, mainly uh, sort of mainstream Chinese education. And uh, so there is no mention of uh, a, a Tibetan history, especially contemporary history. And uh, definitely there is no uh, religious study. And uh, so it's, it's sort of, uh, until when I when I went to Beijing, then after three years in study in Beijing, suddenly there was a question uh, was raised actually by myself. You know, suddenly there is a big question of uh, my identity, and uh, so that's really the sort of starting point of uh, my searching identity, and then that also lead me to 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 India in ninety in nineteen ninety two. Uh, to Dharamsala, and uh, then of course 96, I got a scholarship from London, and so I went to London study, and uh, then after my uh, finished my study, then I settled down in London until now. Uh, so, as you you can see, you know the changing of the environment and the changing of uh, a, a culture. Uh, quite often, I think it's a bring. Uh, uh, yes, so so that's sort of my journey, which is searching for my identity. And then I believe, for me, in two thousand three, I I, I I I sort of feel I, I find what 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 really my identity is. So this is the piece, uh, sort of concluding my searching for identity. And the first one, of course, I mean. Uh, I never, because I was born in the six, 60s, and uh, then, then of course the Chinese already already in Lhasa in Tibet. So this first image actually is just sort of like my imagination of uh, one of the Tibetan artists can be in a traditional setting. Uh, uh, so I personally never really experienced that part. But it, my experience it really started from the second one, and uh, uh, you know, I think it's really happened during during the Cultural Revolution. But I, I mean, I was very young; I couldn't be as an artist. But it's kind of my uh, my thinking of uh, uh, one of the Tibetan artists if he 